Hello everyone. Today my topic is Network Service Embedding in Multiple Edge Systems Profit Maximization by Federation. My name is Li Xinyan from National Jiaotong University, Taiwan. Here is the outline of my topic. The first, I will introduce the main contents, then system model followed by problem definition and the proposed mechanisms. Finally, I will share our simulation results and the conclusion. First, service function chaining. SFT links independent service functions or SFS together in a particular order to form the service chain. NFV, network function virtualization, realize service functions as a software module known as VNFs. NFV together with SFC enables dynamic instantiation, configuration, and termina termination of network services. Network service embedding or NSE is to deploy service chain to a NFV infrastructure like cloud data center. It consists of several tasks. The first, VNF placement. The second, service function chaining. The third, service function scheduling. The third task is not considered in our work. The system model, NSE in each system. We have multiple service chains to be deployed into edge systems. We have multiple edge service providers or ESPs. Each ESP has multiple edge servers, one for each area. The the owner of the service provide the owner of, of, of the service chain will pay to ESP for the deployment of service chains. Now let's look at NSE in a single ESP. For any service chain we have a descriptor for each VNF in the chain, which describes the amount of resource of each type demanded, the location desired, and the amount of bandwidth required. When the request comes into the ESP, ESP looks for um, suitable servers to place um, each VNF and link them together. For that, ESP has information about the amount of resource type, the amount of resource of each type in each server, and also the amount of bandwidth between uh, any pair of servers. The goal of ESP is to minimize the cost on communication resource plus the cost on bandwidth consumption. Okay, then that's the individual edge profit maximization problem. It's to maximize an individual ESP's profit by embedding a selected set of service chains. He, this problem subject to, is subject to se several constraints like computation resource, uh, bandwidth capacity, and location. Okay. Anyway, it's an integer programming problem. And um, please note that this is not the main thing of our work. This problem can be solved by a, a problem solver. Our problem is Federation Profit Maximization or FPM. Because two or more ESPs could form the Federation to share their resources to earn more profits. The basic idea is sometimes two ESPs, PI or PJ alone, could not, could not host some service chain simply, simply because neither of them has enough resource in some location. But their federations, their federation can. So we uh, could form the federation. But we also need to consider extra federation maintenance cost. Here we can see the formal definition of the, for the profit of a federation. I will, go, I will not go into details of this formulas, but the point is when considering uh, whether or not to um, serve the service chain, we, we consider the income from that service chain. 
also the maintenance cost, resource cost, and the bandwidth cost. Okay, the, real, the final problem, social welfare maximization, is to identify a federation structure that maximizes the social welfare, that is the total profit of all ESPs. Okay. And what is a federation structure? A federation structure is a partition of all ESPs into a set of disjoint federations. Um, to identify a, a optimal federation structure, we uh, have two issues. The first is to enumerate all possible federation structures. The second is to figure out the profit of each federation structure. The first, enumerating all possible federation structures. For example, if we have three ESPs, P1, P2, and P3, we may generate five possible federation structures. The first one is each ESP works alone. We call, it, we call this kind of federation singleton federation. The second federation structure is like P1 works, works alone, but P2 and P3 uh, combined as a federation, and so on. However, the number of federation structures with n ESPs is, can be expressed by the bell number. For example, for 10 ESPs, we can have uh, in total uh, more than 115,000 federation structures, which is a huge number. In general, the um, the number of possible federation structures is n to the power of n. The second is to figure out the profit of each federation structure. For example, if we are given this particular federation structure, we may consider um, derive the profit of each federation separately, and then adding up as the uh, profit of the whole federation structure. However, the result is not accurate because in deriving the profit, the maximum profit of each federation, both federations may assume that uh, they uh, host uh, some particular service chain because that service chain is uh, profitable. However, a service chain can only be hosted by one federation, not both. So this could be used as an approximation to the real profit of the whole federation structure. So we uh, proposed two approaches. The first is the greedy approach. Here the basic idea is uh, first, to enumerate all possible federations that could be uh, formed by all ESPs. For three ESPs, P1, P2, P3, we have uh, seven possible federations in total, like this. Then for each federation, we try to find the maximum profit that he could, that th this ESP could, could earn by uh, embedding service chains. Okay. Then we divide this value by the number of uh, ESPs in that federation. Okay. For example, for the last federation, uh, we have three ESPs, so we divide V7 max by three. Then the result will be the words of, the, of each federation. This, this greedy approach simply looks for the highest value. Okay, so suppose here in this example, uh, F6 has the highest value. So we first pick up P1, P3. Okay. Then we remove any federations that have some ESPs in common with this federation. So all these federations are removed. Okay, now we only have a uh, one choice left. That is P two. So uh, this will be the final result.
The other approach is simulated annealing or SA. We use standard SA. Um, the only design choice here is the, the definition of neighborhood. Uh, we defined that two traditional structures are neighbors. If they, um, uh, we, uh, if one ESP, if one ESP change his membership, the federation structure could change from one federation structure to the other. Then these two federation structures are neighbors. The results. We. On the right hand side, we have the simulation setup. On the left hand side is the result of the average social welfare versus the number of serving areas. Here, the amount of resources is fixed. So when the number of serving areas increases, the amount of resource in each area actually decreases. Okay. In that case, singleton does not perform well. Okay. On the other hand, grand, uh, grand federation structure, that is all ESPs in, this, in a single federation structure, in a single federation, will be the optima. Okay. Then the, our result is somewhere in between, but, clo very, but quite close to the optima solution. Next, we test the effect of uneven resource distribution. We used the zips of law to distribute resources among ESPs. In, uh, in, the, in this figure on the left hand side, we increase the total amount of resources. Singleton, which is a, a special federation structure where each federation has only one ESP, performs poorly initially but his performance gets improved when we have much resource. Grant, another spatial federation structure where all ESPs are in the same federation, um, performs quite well initially, but the, but over but was overpassed by a single term. The optimal solution is uh, obtained by uh, exhaustive search and our approach here. And we also see the number of federations for grant. We only certainly we only have one federation. For a single attempt, we have five federations simply be because we have five ESPs in this example. For optimal solution, the number of federations increased from two to um, above uh, four. And the number of federations found by our approaches. Okay, um, another result to see the number of service trends embedded. Singleton not, uh, perform performance is not good. Grain here and our approaches. We also test the effects of heterogeneous cost structures and the number of service chains. But due to time constraint, uh, we, we, we will skip this. Cover this. Conclusions. We have considered maximizing the social welfare of a set of ESPs by identifying uh, optimal federation structure. We proposed two time efficient heuristics, greedy and uh, simulating and neoring. We generally, our approach generally outperform federation structures that contain only grand or single term federations. Simulating and neoring can be taken as an approximation to the optimal solution. Our future work, uh, we, we should consider profit distribution among participants in the federation. Thank you.